Ali is, is maybe the most singular, unusual person in my life. He is incapable of bad thoughts. He's a, a truly Forrest Gump with boxing gloves. Everything works for him, but I don't know why. It's magic. I mean, they took his title away from him. The Muslims threw him out of his own religion after he abandoned his title because they asked him to. Then they threw him out. Went so far as to take his name away from him. Said, you can't use Muhammad Ali anymore. He still did it. He refused to go to Vietnam. Oh, that's the end of Ali. What happens? He comes back bigger than ever because what happened? He was right. Vietnam was wrong. And he became a hero again. And he became a champion again. And we had all those great fights in Manila and in Africa and everything. And now he's hurt and he's still flailing away there. He won't accept defeat. He's still talking. He can't talk. He takes his wife and she talks. I mean, but he's there. You want Ali? He's there. The most wonderful fight in the world. Any kind of fight. Middleweight, any kind. Was the thrill of Manila. For one very good reason. It was the time for the fight. We went to a country that was in revolution in order for the rebels to quit fighting so they'd come down and watch Ali train. Peace was on the corner. Joe Frazier was supposed to be over. He beat him in the second fight like that, no problem. And for the thrill in Manila, he bought a gorilla, a little tiny black gorilla. And every time he'd see Joe Frazier, he'd pull that gorilla out and he says, I'm gonna beat Joe Frazier in the thrill in Manila, the gorilla in the thrill of Manila, bang, bang, bang. And Joe Frazier would go crazy. I'm gonna kill that guy. First five rounds, Ali, no problem. Goes out there, biff, hit him, bopping him. Almost knocks him out, I think round four. But for some reason, Ali let him go. So we said, well, it's plenty of time. Round five, Joe Frazier takes it. Round six, Joe Frazier takes it. Round seven, he's bouncing punches off it. Oh, I said, he can't, nobody can take those punches. And one of them, the exchange occurs right over us. And we hear this following exchange. Joe Frazier, wow, tremendous left hook. Ali says, they told me you were through, Joe. And Joe Frazier said, they lied to you, champ. They lied with the right hand. Boom! He hit the right hand. Oh, my God. Ali came back, and he said to Angelo, I feel like I'm dying. I mean, like, is this life or death? I feel like I'm dying here. Ali, round 10 to 14, Ali is giving Frazier a tremendous shot. But Frazier keeps coming. Frazier keeps coming, and Ali looks tired, and Frazier keeps coming. What you guys didn't know is that Frazier was blind in one eye until the 14th round, and then Ali closed the other eye. When he closed the other eye, both eyes were closed. Now he couldn't see it, Ali at all. Joe Frazier had such guts that he refused to, to let the fight stop because he didn't have one eye. Now that gentleman and ladies is boxing at his best. So if that was the best fight of all time,